Hello everyone, hey this is JC John Chung. Um Hey, I'm coming out okay with this another video means to just help some of you guys to get yourself prepared okay for your A level um, okay, exam and okay the, for today a uh, particular topic we are going to look at specifically uh, decentralizations and uh, some other questions that are related to also the idea of uh, uh, departmentalizations yeah I think okay I need a haircut uh, because I'm filming this during this coronavirus okay uh, partial lockdown so can't really find a place where the saloon or bubble is open so anyway okay hopefully these things get better uh so let's just okay go ahead and jump through a uh, miss this uh this particular topic because now previously okay i've actually shared the difference between uh the concept of decentralization okay and delegations yeah so if we talk about a uh, the idea of uh delegation is is often a uh, missed the pro practice of passing down authority and responsibility from the superiors to the immediate subordinates according to the line of uh, to uh, according okay to the chain of command yeah and if we talk about the idea of decentralization the means is the passing down of authority and responsibility from the top level management okay to the lower level division and departments and always remember okay when we talk about top level management um, there, I mean, it's not just one person. It's a collective, uh, uh, a group of individuals. Yeah, and same. Okay, goes to the lower level departments division. So, what kind of question can okay, appear? Now, this is where I want you okay, to make reference to this particular case studies, which is called GMC. Right, GMC. So, in GMC, stand for Global Media Corporations and. Uh, the code here I have for you is 9707-31MJ-2013 Yeah, 9707-31MJ-2013 And uh, in this particular case, let me read the question for you And I will put down okay a link uh, below So you can, I mean someone, okay, click on it uh, And then, okay, read it if you want to uh, Yeah, yeah, so and I will, and you can just pause the uh, video and make it to do so. Right. So let's just look at the questions. You have question number one, which is analyze one advantage and one disadvantage. Okay, to GMC of changing to a more centralized organization structure. Yeah. And here is about okay changing to a more centralized organization structure. So previously, you'll find that this particular company they are following a decentralized. So now maybe okay they're experiencing okay some issue. They are considering of changing it in this case to a centralized one. So so if you look okay at this particular case GMC, I mean see, uh here is a media. Um, it's a media conglomerate and being a conglomerate you have they have like um this business activity is several different uh industries of course here that say um, they are engaged in the newspapers publications television channels and also um, this uh, internet services yeah so over here uh let me okay read this particular aspect um, of the case you'll find okay uh, in the organizational structure of GMC, it is based on divisional decentralization. So, in terms of organizational structure, it practices divisional, but at the same time, okay, here they are also practicing a um, decentralization. Yeah, and over here there are three divisions which I've mentioned just now, and senior managers in each division have delegated authority. So, which means they are empowered to make their own decision without having okay to always go back to the higher management. Uh, um, okay, to seek consultation and approval and allowing them okay to take most of the strategic division for their division however the GMC board of directors still control a big capital investment decision so something okay that require a very large amount of money and this case uh, uh, um, to, um, to be invested then um, this decision okay will be made by the directors and the company's corporate social responsibility because most likely the CSR policy yeah 
corporate so corporate responsibility policy so this corporate responsibility policy they want to have it standardized and whenever you want something okay to be standardized you don't want it means to decentralize you don't want to have each of the divisional leader to come out on this care with their own set of ideas of what to do because then okay there will be inconsistency yeah so uh so understand this centralization is still good Centralization uh, means always support standardization. And if standardization matters, uh, that is where you don't want to decentralize because decentralized you will have all this uh, means okay, departmentals, head, uh, divisional uh, leader, they may come out of Mr. Okay, with their own ideas of what to do, and then there is inconsistency. Alright. So uh, let's move forward. Divisional managers are highly motivated because why? They have, to, they have decentralization. Always understand this. Decentralization is always good. It means good to motivate the employees. Uh, it has the potential to fulfill ego needs. They have the potential it means to satisfy self actualization needs. Yeah, uh, and and also to make the job interesting it means whereby it means here uh, it is considered to be an intrinsic motivator and when we talk about decentralizations uh, also understand this it means here uh, it gives more responsibilities it means to those yeah it gives more responsibility okay to those uh, people who somewhat uh, it means are taking on this decentralization to decentralize functions now then they take divisional decision for each country that reflects the market condition and culture of each country yeah so however this form of decentralization has led to wasteful duplication of support services such as economic forecasting so first thing okay here it, it means in, if a business is operating in many different countries so it is sometimes best okay to decentralize because each of the country environments differ from one another and therefore means okay, if you have those divisional leaders who are closer I means to those uh, country environments they will have a better knowledge I means okay, to know I means what uh, decision I means would be most suitable I means that fit I means into their context I means of uh, operation but then of course uh, it is mentioned that uh, decentralization has led to wasteful duplication I means of support services such as economic forecasting now meaning okay here uh, the situation okay is that uh, you have like this newspaper division you have this internet uh, business division you have I means the other one okay is yeah television channels division so consider okay that each of these division have an economist but if the function of this economy is uh, uh, somewhat okay, uh, the same in any of the divisions and basically they just go out okay, and find data about the economic environment. The, it is highly questionable okay, how uh, financially efficient it is to uh, miss half, uh, miss to recruit and maintain three economies. Do you agree? Yes, I believe so. And, and 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 since they are just doing the same job so why not let me say here GMC just look into recruiting one economist and whereby I miss this particular economist uh, I miss, as his go about I miss, okay, doing his economic research I means to find data which can be applied I miss, okay, to all the, the three different divisions so that's where I miss we talk about I miss, how a uh, wasteful duplication comes in when this wasteful duplication comes in meaning okay redundancy occur and when redundancy occur take note of this redundancy occur uh you you hear a means okay, it will make a means the business are less efficient okay now what else means can we see from this case uh in addition there's some conflict between the division over, for example, the impact of expanding TV and internet services on newspaper sales. So Juan, a GMC chief executive, has asked the management consultant to report on the likely effect on GMC of the changing to a more centralized organization structure. Now, here is the thing. When you decentralize, at times, okay, it has the potential to lead to conflicts and misca among uh, this different division and the reason okay 
it's very simple. Uh, just think about this division that means okay, is like I miss the children, I miss, I miss the children okay of this company like and 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 these children I miss are competing, uh, against each other I miss to get more resources for themselves. So what happened okay is that uh, sometimes okay there is too much okay maybe politicking, uh and that is the way I miss okay, this internet okay uh, service division and the television channels division so means that they they want to have more of these resources for themselves and therefore I miss they may often uh, undermine I miss, okay, uh the performance okay of the newspaper sales, uh and some and, and with all this politicking involved I miss, okay, it's not going okay to uh make I miss, get the business healthy so sometimes here what happened okay in order to address this issue I miss a much more authoritative approach uh, I miss can be uh can be used how like imagine this okay if assuming okay uh parents which have let's say three or more children and all the children I miss okay, like keep on I miss, okay, fighting with each other because and 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 just 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 think about this you you ask Let's say a means okay, there is going to be a family outing and means they and the uh, parents ask okay uh, the children where they want to go out and eat so you have one say a means okay, I want to go eat pizza a means another one say I want to go eat sushi a means the third one say I uh, want to go eat well I don't know like Chinese food yeah so so then okay you have all this three like going against each other. So what happened okay is let's say the parents centralize the decision and say hey all right it means everyone okay so uh we're not going to eat pizza we're not going okay to eat chinese food we're not going okay to uh, 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 i must eat uh their yeah, sushi we're just going to an indian restaurant all right so that's 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 end of discussion just go to indian restaurant and eat so from there, I mean, things can much move on much more efficiently. Do you see that? So that is how I mean, it is possible for you to answer I mean, the question. So you can talk about the fact that centralization I mean, uh, is somewhat okay, recommended. But of course, okay, here, uh, if we look at the case again, uh, look at the question again, they do ask... If I'm not mistaken, yeah, they do ask Miss to talk about uh the disadvantage. So uh, perhaps okay here is where they only ask you for one advantage and they ask you only for one disadvantage. So please take note of the number. If they ask you one, just choose one but elaborate on it. Don't go about like writing too many ideas. Uh yeah and and from there, okay, here we uh, means okay, you know, if you want to talk about the disadvantage, I means okay, talk about perhaps I means okay, when uh, decentralized is practice, then uh, the motivation of this decentralized uh, managers I means okay, then uh, can be a factor. They may no longer look I means okay, forward in doing their job. I means they, it may reduce okay the amount of their job satisfaction. Or you can choose the idea that. Uh, I mean, okay, how practical it is going to be. I mean, how it can affect. I mean, okay, the this decentralized managers to make good decision because they know best about. I mean, their environment. I mean, okay, and if let's say centralized decision is made, uh, those people. I mean, okay, at the higher up, the board of directors may not necessarily be aware. Yeah, may not necessarily be aware. I mean, okay, what's happening? Yeah. So these are some of the things I mean, okay, that you can put in uh, but choose one advantages, choose one disadvantages, just elaborate on it. Okay, so that's the uh, uh so yeah. Okay, let me give you a bonus, right? Let me give you a bonus. You like bonus? Okay, you like bonus? Okay, so don't, so if those of you who like bonus, uh, just stay on and I will uh go through another question, okay, which is uh uh, about this Patel bicycles is also about uh, companies that look into the issue of uh, division now uh, Patel bicycle here let me just check where is the case right
Now, if you talk about okay, Patel bicycle, uh, here, they you find okay, there are three different divisions, yeah, three different divisions where they create a okay, these three different types of bike, and each of this division means okay, have their uh separate uh, I mean, okay, approach, I mean, okay, of leadership. So I'm just still turning okay. Through my pages, I can't remember. Okay, which set the music it is in. Just give me a moment. Yes. Okay. So what? Uh, uh, I want you okay, to go to a uh, music. Go to or look for a uh, music particular case, which is uh nine seven zero seven. 31 MJ okay 2012 I repeat again it's 970731 MJ okay 2012 again okay here uh if you don't have a means get a case uh you can later on the means get uh down click on the link below and download the soft copy and what okay you'll find in Patel bicycles as I mentioned before means they are producing okay these three different bikes so uh, one of the bikes here means is called bikes for all and this bike for all means okay, it is the primary and means okay, uh the primary division means it ha it is the largest of all the three division and it, and Patel is like producing okay this bike for the masses so what uh, it is targeting at the mass market now uh, mass market and sell them okay to the wholesalers so this is how uh, they distribute the product they sell them to wholesalers in 50 countries so uh, it's quite large right it's um, yeah so uh, it's, it's quite a large market and the bikes okay are made with cheap important components uh, and there is no above or below the line promotion so which means okay they don't really spend money I mean, okay, promoting it uh, and then prices are low I mean, since it's since you use cheap component prices are low and it does make sense because okay you want to target at I mean, okay, a very large market you want to target at the masses so most likely I means the uh, Patels is focusing I mean, on market penetration I mean, okay, for this and therefore I means they ask uh, pos they position okay this bikes for all I mean, okay, uh, uh, at the lower end yeah then you have specs bike yeah specs bike this division makes hand built specialist bicycle hand built so custom made okay and the annual output of spec bike is less than 10% of the total output of pb so it means it's quite a very it's, it's quite a small percentage each specs bike is sold for 20 times the price so even though the volume of sales uh, is small but uh, in terms of means okay, um the price that they sell uh, in means okay, is going is very high. So for specs, but it uh, means from from this case you'll find it's targeting at the higher end market. Yeah, higher end market. Um, and okay, from here. Uh, yeah, specs. Uh, and, and, and this specialist bicycle are exported. Okay, to six high income countries. It's not going. I mean, okay, to be sold in all the fifty countries. Is uh, so it's going to use what we call a selective distribution. Yeah, selective distribution. So only choose. So PB only choose the six high income countries. Then the third one. Okay, here we have electric bike. Yeah, electric bike. So I mean, in short, it's there for electric bikes. This is the smallest division, okay, in terms of output and sales turnover. Uh, with new environmental laws in many countries, the PB directors believe that the demand for electric bicycle will increase. So, what happened, okay, is that the PB I means is trying I means okay, to uh, I means take advantage I means of this green movements whereby people are concerned I means okay, with global warming, with I means climate change. So they want to choose products I means that are somewhat uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, and as there is a shift I means okay, of this uh, uh, social cultural I means okay, uh, expect I means okay, of the external environment. So PB want to capture I means okay, on this market. Yeah, so this and 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 here, I uh, mean, so you'll find okay that uh PB has invested like already twenty two million to develop okay this new technology batteries, yeah, new technology batteries, um and also okay this battery lasts much longer, I uh, mean, on other products on the market. This form of product development should be the future, I uh, mean, for the company, yeah, all right. 
So however, sales of e-light bikes start slowly in 2010 uh, because okay, there's a 2012 paper, so that just started slowly and has not grown much since. So kind of sad, you know, Amenska uh, has not experienced uh, significant growth yet. They are so through specialist retailers who have been uh, uh, offer generous credit terms to encourage them to stop this bicycle. Now, what does this mean? Because you have to realize that as a producer, and you don't have your retail outlet limits to distribute your product, which means okay, you are dealing okay with external reseller. Sometimes okay, you need to be able to convince okay these resellers to stock up your product, to give okay your product a chance, and by uh, I mean, okay, encouraging these retailers to do so, I mean, this is where uh, you have to give them some incentive. So that's where uh, PB is offering this generous credit term, meaning okay, that uh, these retailers, if they do take I mean, their elect bikes, uh, they are given the opportunity I mean, okay, uh, to pay back I mean, okay, the, uh, I mean, okay, the stock of elect bikes I mean, at a much more later period. So that's the idea. So. That's just an incentive for Minsk to the retailers. Now, uh, what also matters in this particular case study, you'll find okay that uh, it also talk about uh, leadership, yeah, leadership, and why Minsk we want uh, want to look at the leadership style because there's questions that relate to it. I will go through that question with you, and so here we have bikes for all. I mean, is led by Abbas, yeah. He considered that production line workers should be given a clear instruction. So look at those words carefully, as I said. Given the clear instructions. Money incentive for what work produced and temporary employment contracts too, in his word, make them focus uh, on keeping their job. Now ask yourself. For Abbas, as you listen okay, to these words, what leadership style is Abbas using? What do you think? Who say Emilske is, uh, who say Emilske is autocratic? All right. So those of you who say autocratic, okay, then you are correct. But at the same time, you can also make reference, okay, to the concept of uh, uh, theory X mindset. Yeah, theory X mindset where they see it means the workers are lazy, stupid, and uh, uh, require strict supervision, okay, to work. And you talk about Amenske uh, using Amenske uh, Taylor style, okay, t like this Taylor management approach. But the main thing, okay, is to be able Amenske, to talk about the fact that uh, Amenske, this is an autocratic leadership. Then, okay, we talk about like Specs Bike. Specs Bike okay, is led by Gary. He is an Olympic cyclist whose enthusiasm, okay, for his job is shared by most of his worker. Yeah, uh, and then okay, get so this is for Specs Bike. Gary I mean, okay, encourages Specs bike workers to be involved in making all major decisions and he keeps them well informed. So very much okay, if you look into this particular uh, sentences, Gary is practicing democratic leadership because I mean, okay, there is employee participation. Uh, Gary I mean, invites I mean, uh, his uh, subordinates I mean, to uh, be engaged in the decision making process and also I mean, okay, there are frequent I mean, okay, two way communication because this is how Gary keeps his uh, subordinates okay, informed. Yeah? Then, okay, you have like the third one Elex Bike is led by Whip. Elex Bike started out as a research division and has only recently started producing products to the sales I mean, okay, uh, to customers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, producing product for sales to customers. Whip okay is a mechanical engineering graduate. So uh, just now Gary is an ex Olympic cyclist. This one is a mechanical engineering graduate who encourage okay who encourages her teams of researchers to solve problems themselves and arrive at a solution with little dire central direction. So I mean, if you read this, you'll find this very much a laissez-faire leadership style. Laissez-faire. When we talk about laissez-faire leadership style. There is less intervention. I mean, okay, from the superior workers, uh, I mean, given uh, the freedom, I mean, to make their own decisions. Uh, so and in this case, I mean, okay, 
you don't find whip uh, it means frequently it means can interfere it means in the work process so here you actually have two questions that relate in this case to what I've discussed with you or read okay to you all so one okay of the questions here is analyze okay two benefits of operating uh, as three separate division this is question number one analyze two benefits uh, of operating pb as three separate division so this is where we talk about organizational structure again why a means okay, that uh, pb want to have three division because first thing you have to consider the bikes that pb produce are different and they require different resources and they uh, and they use different processes so why uh, they cannot standardize them so when you cannot standardize them, so then uh, it is better for you uh, means to segregate them uh, means into different divisions. So then there will be much more, then uh, 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 whatever uh, means, okay, effort that is to be made now uh, will be much more focused. Yeah? And also you have to talk about the fact uh, means, okay, that the competency of the workers that are required to produce this bike also differ from, what, from each other. Because those of them uh, means, okay, who are made to produce bike for all, you don't need them to be highly skilled. In this case, this is where uh, we talk about mass production and mass production. Uh, even though it's labor intensive, uh, for bikes for all, I mean, it's said to be cheap. So they follow I mean, a a very strict I mean, standard okay uh, process, and you don't require I mean, too much of skill or creativity to do that. But this is not the same with. Uh, uh, this like uh, 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 specs bike because specs bike uh, means okay, here the bike is customized according uh, means to the customer requirement uh, and therefore uh, means okay, you need a uh, means okay, people who are much more highly skilled who are able a uh, means okay, to have some for, uh, creativity and often okay uh, to have these people uh, means is where we talk about the idea of talented capital the keyword here is talented capital. Uh, PB uh, means you need to pair them uh, means at a higher amount uh, means in order okay, to work. And of course, okay, the next one, uh, okay, here we have elect bike, you know, like elect bike uh, means okay, here uh, touch very much in terms of uh, R and D technological development, which somewhat okay, it's not something okay the specs bike uh, means okay, concern of because okay elect bike need to focus on developing uh, means okay, uh, a high performing uh, means battery uh, means to support the bike. And again, here you I want to mention the very specific reasons that why they need to have three division. Because first thing, the materials that are used differ from one another. The people that are used differ from one another, and also I mean, okay, the process of production, the process of production, uh, and uh, I mean, okay, is not the same. So, uh, uh what I mean, okay, uh, if if you can remember what you studied in terms of production method you can somewhat make reference to the idea that uh, bikes for all they're using okay flow production then okay uh, specs bikes they most those they're most likely okay using uh, job production because it's customized then the third one okay here we have uh, uh, elect bikes they most likely okay produce in batches the reason why you produce in batches because they don't have a very large market they cannot produce at a high volume so that is uh, for question number one and then we look at question number three so question number three let's okay, it asks you to discuss okay whether the leadership style used within PB3 divisions are appropriate now Already okay, we have Abbas, Gary, and Whip. Abbas okay is in um, Abbas okay is in this bikes for all, yeah, bikes for all, and uh, here he is practicing of uh, uh, autocratic leadership. So you, what happened okay is you have to look at the nature of the operations and. Uh, in a manner of speaking, I okay, they are producing at the large volume. You can tell the examiners that uh, most likely Abbas are handling a large 
uh, number of Minsuke of workers under him, so his span of control is very wide. He cannot afford the Minsuke to have frequent the Minsuke two way and Minsuke interaction and with each of the workers because that will take too much of his time. And basically, okay, uh, uh, here I mean, he used autocratic I mean, leadership style, which is very much suitable because he can just uh, Minsuke issue instruction and everyone follows. And this is supported also by the fact I mean, that the bikes for all I mean, here, uh, it can be assumed that uh, the spike garments that are produced uh, are very much standardized, so you don't need I mean, to somewhat uh, give a different instruction I mean, to each uh, group of Minsuke of workers, yeah, and the idea also okay. Here, if we talk about uh, the, this particular leadership, because they ask you okay, to discuss, it is still possible for you to mention about the disadvantages. Since okay, Gary, uh, sorry, not Gary, uh, since Abbas is using autocratic management, ask yourself, yeah, how would this affect motivation? Now, the thing okay is this. Autocratic leadership may not highly motivate. Now, even though Minsk workers are paid, but not all the workers may always look on Minsk uh, towards uh, financial rewards in order to have motivation to work. And the workers sometimes okay, may consider themselves uh, not able Minsk to, yeah, may, may consider themselves uh, to be less significant uh, because their uh, individuality and uh, I mean, it's not acknowledged, so this may lead to the feeling of alienation. You can also mention I mean, that uh, in autocratic leadership style, yeah, uh, uh, I mean, there is no opportunity I mean, for the workers I mean, to learn more, acquire new more experience uh, because there is no delegations uh, that is involved. So I mean, there's there, there's no opportunity I mean, to be able to express creativity, and this is where they are they would likely not be able to satisfy their ego needs and self actualization needs. So you see how I relate uh, back to the motivation theory. Uh, if then okay, we move to let's say uh, we move to. Gary now. Now Gary, okay, of course most of the students will say, yeah, I mean democratic leadership is good. I mean uh, and uh, I mean we like okay the idea of employee empowerment. Now uh you will find whenever there is democratic leadership, employee uh no sorry, not employee empowerment. Uh, okay, let me let me let me repeat this uh, okay when we whenever we we want to discuss about Democratic leadership, you refer to the concept of employee participation. Yeah, so it's employee participation, not employee empowerment. So employee participation, okay, here, uh, it gives recognition I mean, to the employees, I mean, and uh, by giving them opportunity I mean, to uh, contribute their ideas, I mean, to present I mean, the perspective, because okay, uh, Gary I mean, will somewhat recognize that recognize his subordinates as being matured and capable I means to present ideas that is worthy of practical consideration. So yeah. So you see this like the wording the the, 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 the some of the keywords I gave you I means the idea of uh uh I means giving recognitions, uh uh allowing I means employees to contribute uh, I mean, okay, seeing the employees as being matured and being able to give ideas worthy of consideration. Now, then you have to look at the disadvantages. Of course, the disadvantages in this case, you may want to talk about the fact that employee participation sometimes okay, uh, is very time consuming, uh, it can be slow, or okay, in terms of getting people okay, to take immediate action. But I would suggest to you, I would suggest to you to counter argue. Let me repeat this again: counter argue. So when we talk about okay, counter arguing, this is where you want to talk about the fact that as long as Spike is able to deliver promptly, 
then it does not seem to means that there is so much problem uh, in terms of misc of the time that uh, those people who are in the spec bike divisions can okay, take in order to come up with a decision and make the customized bike. So, you see, but that is what I means help to differentiate you from the rest of means care of the students, yeah. Because when you are able to argue and then counter argue, it makes you much more uh, unique in terms of answering. And the last one we will have whip. So whip okay is practicing uh, uh, this laissez faire. Now of course laissez faire uh, is good because now laissez faire you would want to refer to employee empowerment. Uh, employees are given that means okay, very much okay the freedom to make their own decision. That means to manage their own work progress. Uh, and as such okay here. Uh, uh, this can likely be a motivator factor, but it can also be negative because there are workers who may desire some greater, uh, I mean, like greater uh, structure. They may want the means okay, uh, whip uh, I mean, okay, to be much more involved in terms of communication. They may want whip I mean, okay, to provide them uh, I mean, okay, with better directions. Uh, they may uh, want whip I mean, okay, in order to uh, 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 guide them more rather than I mean, okay, them I mean, just being given I mean, okay, the uh, objective to fulfill. And yeah, so so there are disadvantages okay, to laissez faire. Uh, the other okay disadvantages okay, to laissez faire, I would say, okay, is that sometimes okay here uh when the superior in this case is whip, uh they don't frequently interact okay with the employees, it may lead to a sense of isolation. Uh this may not do well it means for any of the employees uh, who may uh wish to fulfill it means okay, their uh, I mean, sense of belonging needs or affiliation needs, let me put it this way because affiliation needs, in case some of you uh, I mean, uh, have forgotten, it relates to McClellan tree needs theory. So, those are how you, uh, those are the ideas of how you answer I mean, okay, for the chapter of organizational structure. Uh, see okay what else I can make for you all and perhaps okay the next one we will look at the uh, Miske business communications or human resource management. Alright? Okay, so with that, take care. I hope to see you in the next video.